Hi everyone, my name is Ray Prakash and welcome to another session on LRDI. Okay, so here we will discuss a good unconventional cat set pattern. Okay, so this is a very good set here, just read it out. Four persons A, B, C, D have distinct number of rupees 1, rupees 2, rupees 1, rupees 2, rupees 5, and rupees 10 coins. It is not noted that higher the denomination of any coin, the higher the number of coins with any person. The maximum number of coins of a particular denomination is 20 and the minimum number of coins of a particular den denomination is 5. Okay. No two persons had the same number of coins of any particular denomination. The total amount with C and D is 270x6 and 348 respectively. Right. C. So this is a, right, this is a very good set and it requires a lot of hidden trial. Okay. So how to basically start thinking on this set. So I think like this. I'll think like this that total each person okay each person in total has got how many coins has got rupees 1 rupees 2 rupees 5 and rupees 10 right so he has got so he must have like suppose suppose that the person has for uh, four coins or 5 to 20 is the number right minimum uh, is 5 and maximum is 20 okay minimum 5 maximum 20 so let's say that person has 5 rupees 1 coins okay let's say that person has uh, 7 rupees 2 coins right and let's say that person has 8 rupees uh, 5 coins and let's say that person has 10 rupees uh, 1 to 5 huh? 10 rupees 10 coins so how many total number is right so this 1 2 3 4 okay so he has he must have he taken he must have taken four numbers out of the 16 numbers available what are 16 numbers available 5 to 20 okay so 5 to 20 for each person right total 16 numbers available 5 to 20 total 16 numbers available and for each person okay so each person will take out four numbers which each person takes four numbers right like suppose which numbers are taken by suppose suppose this is a let let this is a so a has taken how many how many numbers one two three four so a has taken four numbers out of 20 available numbers right so 5 to 20 is the number you're getting it okay so like this i have to fill uh find for all the uh four persons right four numbers will taken by out of 5 to 20 four numbers 5 7 8 10 are taken by a okay then again suppose 15, 16, 17, and 18 are taken by B. Okay, again those four numbers. Suppose 11, 12, 13, and 20 are taken by C. Right, so again those four numbers. Okay, so like this, there are four into four, 16 numbers are level. There are four persons here, right? Okay, so now what is my next step of thinking here will be how this 348 will come. Okay, I know that D has, D has rupees 348. Okay. So how will you get this 348, right? Again, it's a purely hit and trial kind of person, uh, kind of set. So how to uh, see it's a kind of hit and trial, how to do hit and trial, right? Now assume because it's given that higher the denomination of any coin, higher the number of coins with a, that person. Correct. Higher the denomination of any coin, higher the coins of that person. Fine. That means, suppose for example, if D has 10 coins of rupees 10, understand right, understand this. If D has 10 coins of rupees 10, okay, that means rupees 100 value, okay. So he will have lesser coins of rupees 5. Let's say he has, let's say if he has 9 coins of rupees 5, then the value is rupees 45. Then he has a lesser coins of rupees 2, okay. Then we have, suppose, suppose 8 coins of rupees 2, suppose, right. So you're getting it, see it is rupees 16. So you're getting it right. And now further lesser coins for rupees 1. Okay. So the, you sum it up, you are never going to get 348 from here. Correct. You need the sum to be 348. So you're never going to get 348 from here if you assume that D has 10 coins of rupees 10. Right. So you're never going to get 348 from here. That, that means this assumption is wrong. Okay. So 348 is a particularly larger amount, right? Here we are ending up quite near to 160. Even if we add for rupees 1 also, I'll end near 160, 170, right? So this is again not working for me. So what I'll do here, I'll just change these numbers, right? 
So since 348 is a big number, so I'll try and start from 20. 20 is the max number available, right? So suppose D has 20 coins, 20 coins of rupees 10. What is the value? Rupees 200. Fine. Okay. Now after 20, the next higher number I can take is any number less than 20, right? But let's say uh, this is 200 and I want, I, I want to reach 348, right? Again, a further uh, 148 rupees to go. Okay. So what I'll do? Let's assume that let's say 19 coins he has of rupees 5. So that is rupees 95. Fine. Again, the next best number I can take is 18 because again, don't forget higher the denomination, the higher the number of coins that is that person, right? That means he will have if for rupees 2 coins, he will have further less denomination. Okay. Then let's say it has 18 coins of rupees 2. What is the value? It is rupees 36. Till now, how much? 200 plus 95, 295 plus 36, 331. So further 17 to go. For 348, further 17 to go. So I can take 17 coins of rupees 1, that is rupees 17, and this will give me 348. Yes, right, we got it. We got it, right. That means D has 20 coins of rupees 10 and 19 coins of rupees 5 and uh, 18 coins of rupees 2 and 17 coins of rupees 1. That will give me 348, right? So that's the hidden trial I was talking about. This is about hidden trial. Okay. 348 is the sum for D, right? Now similarly, I need to do, do it for B also. Okay. So we'll do it for B also. Similarly, I'll do it here for B also, right? Now check here for B. Now what's the case for B here? We'll check. What's the case for B? So B has total rupees 276. So again, you can see it is a further larger amount, right? It is a large amount compared to uh, uh, rupees 100 or 200, right? 276 is near to 348. So what I'll try and do is again, okay. Now out of those 16, I was, I was talking about those. I was talking about those 5 to 20. Okay. Total 16 numbers available. 16 numbers available, right? Right. So out of the 16 numbers, these four numbers, 20, 19, 18, 17 are taken up by D. Okay. So for B, I can, let's say I can start from 16 and I can check. I'm, I'm not sure right now, right? I'll just check that is, is 16 will do, right? Will 16 do our job, right? So let's say I'll start with 16 and let's say, say, okay, B has, B has 16 coins of, so you know, it is B, no? It is C, C. I'm sorry, it is C. It is C. Okay. So C has 16 coins of rupees 10. What is the value? Rupees 160. Okay. We have to go to 276, right? Next best number I can take is 15. I can take any number less than 16, but since the value is a bit larger, I'll take the largest value possible, right? So let's say that's 15 coins of rupees 5. What is the value here? Rupees 75. Let's say he has 14 coins of rupees 2. What is the value here? Rupees 28. And let's say he has 13 coins of rupees 1. So let's check the value. What is the value here? 160 plus 75, 235. Plus 28, 263. Yes, 13 to go. So 13 will do. 13 coins of rupees 1. That is rupees 13. And again, this sum will come to 276. Okay. Sum will come to 276. Right, so we have done the groundwork for C and D. We got how to get these amounts with C and D. Right, so now we can look at the questions here. Okay, now we'll move by one by one. Question one. Now, if the total amount with B is rupees 204, find the amount with A. Okay, so again, out of 5 to 20, those 16 numbers available, I was talking about it. Right, out of that 16 numbers, 4 numbers are already covered here, and 4 numbers are already covered here. Right, so to see, how do you get 204? Okay, how do you, if the total amount with B is 204, then what is the amount with A? This is a question, right? I have to see here, what is the amount with B? If B is 204, so how will we get B as 204, right? So B is rupees 204. How will you get it? Again, so let's say from 20 to 20 to 13, all the numbers are occupied out of 5 to 20, right? So next higher number available for me is 12. So let's try with 12. Let's try with 12. So B has 12 coins of rupees 10 value is rupees 120. Fine. I have to reach to 104. Next best number is 11. Let's try with 11. Let's try with 11. 11 coins of rupees 5. 
that is rupees 55 okay then next best number is 10 10 coins of rupees 2 that is rupees 20 what is sum now 120 plus 55 175 plus 20 195 okay what is the sum 204 there are only 9 rupees to go 9 then yes we got it right yes we got it 9 coins of rupees 1 will give me rupees 9 and total sum will be 204 correct we got it right so once we got this so what is the answer so total amount with b is rupees 204 find the amount with a so see out of those 16 numbers 4 4 and this 4 okay so already 12 numbers are all allotted to b c and d so for a what what we are left with so for a we are left with only a will have okay for a what we are left with a will have only 5 6 7 8 because 5 to 20 all numbers are occupied now only we have 5 6 7 8 left okay so a will have automatically higher denomination for higher number of coins higher denomination of any coin higher number of coins he has it right so if he has 5 6 7 8 numbers available so 8 will be for rupees 10 higher denomination higher number of coin so a will have 8 coins of rupees 10 8 coins of rupees 10 rupees 80 okay then uh, 7 coins of rupees uh, 5 that is rupees uh, 35 okay 6 coins of rupees 2 that is rupees 12 and 5 coins of rupees 1 that is rupees 5 what is sum here sum is 80 35 115 12 uh, 127 and 5 rupees 132 so a will have rupees 132 so what is the answer here 132 is the answer correct so i hope it is clear right i hope it is clear this set okay so this kind of uh, good hidden trials are required to do in the exam right so once you see this kind of set right if you can do it if you can do it very fine right otherwise you you have to practice before facing it actual uh actually in cat right and this is a typical example of uh, an unconventional set which has which is asked in the cat in the last two three years right now okay so very important Let's do all the questions here. Question 2. Find the, okay, find the maximum possible number of rupees 10 coins which can be there. So, maximum possible number of rupees 10 coins, right? So, you can see here, rupees 10 coins how much here? 10 coins, 12 coins of rupees 10, okay? Let me just, uh, okay. So, maximum possible number, you can see here, 12 coins of rupees 10, okay? Here, 8 coins of rupees 10. Here 20 coins of rupees 10 and here 16 coins of rupees 10. Right. So what is the answer in that case? 16 plus 16 plus 20 plus 12 plus 8. What is the answer? 36, 12, 80, uh, 48, 856. So 56 is the answer for this question. Question 2 answer is 56. Max impossible, right? This is a max impossible. We can't reduce them because you have all, out of all the available numbers 20 to 16 you have allotted 20 coins to rupees 10 you can't maximize it now now out of all the available numbers now before 17 you have taken maximum 16 coins of rupees 10 there's not there's not there's no not any there's no possibility of getting a more number than 16 here right so this is all the maximum cases only this 56 is the answer right okay next question we'll see find the maximum possible number of rupees one coins with all the persons same thing so for rupees one coin simply add it so nine coins of rupees one here nine coins of rupees one here five coins of rupees one here 17 coins of rupees one here and 13 coins of rupees one so what is the answer 13 plus 17 plus uh, 9 plus 5 okay so it is 34 so 34 is the answer for this question 3 right yeah okay next one just read it we have to read this question a bit okay so if the maximum number of coins of a particular denomination is 16 okay and the minimum number could be one then find the difference between maximum possible amount and minimum possible amount okay so if the maximum number of 60 coins is now 16 of a particular de denomination and the minimum number could be one then find the difference between the maximum possible amount and minimum possible amount. right you can do this question now see we can do this question here and you can connect it to our last concept also right which you did in this set so question is so let me rub this part here okay so question is what is the maximum 
possible number of coins of a particular denomination of, is uh, 16 right so maximum number of coins of a particular denomination is 16 that means that means i have now all the numbers available is from 16 to 1 in last case in this case it was from 5 to 20 okay in this case it was from 5 to 20 right so now it is from 1 to 16 okay so what is the maximum amount so again, I'll start from 16, right? So maximum amount can be with anyone can be I'll start from 16. So I'll say, okay, 16 coins of rupees 10 value becomes 160. Okay. 15 coins of rupees uh, 5 value becomes rupees 75. 14 coins of rupees uh, 2 value becomes rupees 28 and 13 coins of rupees 1 that is rupees 13. This is the maximum possible, right? 235, 263, 276. So 276 is the maximum possible amount. Fine. Rupees 276 is the maximum possible amount. Maximum. Correct? Now for minimum, that allowed will allow uh, allowed to allow the all, all the values from 1 to 4. Right. That means and of, of course higher denomination, higher number of coins. So if 1 to 4 numbers are uh, numbers are available, then 1 to 4 numbers are available, then 4 coins of rupees 10. That is rupees 40, 3 coins of rupees uh, 5. That is rupees 15, 2 coins of rupees 2. That is rupees 4 and 1 coin of rupees 1. That is rupees 1. What is the value? 40, 15, 55, 4, 6, 60 rupees. So this is a minimum possible amount is 60 rupees and maximum possible amount is 276. So what a difference here? 276 minus 60. What is the answer? Answer is 216. So answer is 216. Okay. So I hope it is clear, right? So again, a beautiful LRDI set uh, with a good number of written trials in this question. Okay. So now. We'll continue this unconventional set pattern in the next videos, okay? Thank you for watching.